Do you enjoy gin, but don't really like the taste of tonic? Today on Let's Talk Drinks, I'm gonna make three alternatives to tonic that you can mix with your gin. Hi everybody, so recently I've been doing a fair few online masterclasses with gin, and I've found that there are a lot of customers out there that like gin, but they don't necessarily like tonic water. So I thought, hey, I'm gonna make a video with three Australian gins, and three Australian mixes to match perfectly with your gin. Okay, so I'm going to ice up my glass first. And the first one that I'm going to make is a gin with yuzu. Okay, yuzu is an up and coming flavor. Well, it's probably more than up and coming now. It's one of my favorite flavors in a mixer. It works really well with gin as well. I'm gonna use the Imbui Distilleries Gin made here in Melbourne in Altham. Gave it a, a try recently and it's bloody fantastic. And with botanicals like dandelion, prickly pear, fennel, and blackberries, it really works well with the yuzu. So I'm going to do 30 mils or one ounce of this wonderful gin. So for those of my viewers that are from America, UK, all over the world, just pick a gin and I, I like to sort of have a look at the botanicals that they use in that gin to try to match it up with the soda that you're going to use. With this one, I'm going to add just a couple little squeezes of lemon juice. Okay, I'll discard this one. And really simply, just gonna to top it up with the yuzu. It's made by Cappy, this one. As far as I know, it's the only yuzu soda that I've seen on the market. And I've been using it for a while here at the 18th Amendment. Give it a little bit of a stir. And that's how simple it is, okay? Gin, lemon, yuzu soda. Let's give it a try. Bang on. Okay, variation for tonics number two. We're going to do something with another Australian gin. This is the West Wind Sabre. First up, we're gonna do it in a highball. So I'm going to rim the glass and I just get a little bit of lime and just rim that really, really simply with just some salt, okay? I'm gonna do a half rim, as I do with my margaritas. I only do salt on half, because some friends don't want to uh, have any salt and make sure that it doesn't go into the drink. It's on the outside of the rim. Okay, we'll add some ice. And some of the West Wind Sabre. If I'm making something in a highball, a taller glass, I like to use 45 mils. Next up, two squeezes of lime. And next up, I'm going to use the Cappy grapefruit soda. I love this stuff. As you've probably noticed, it's kind of like a twist on a Paloma, which is normally with tequila. What I love about this drink is it's not overly sweet like a lot of tonics. The grapefruit soda has got that really nice bitterness to the drink and it works super well with the Australian botanicals that are in the West Winds gin as well. So I'm gonna give it a stir just to get that gin mixed in to the soda. And the next thing that I'm gonna do before I try it is I'm going to fix my vest again. Now this happened a while ago on a video and my daughter Ange didn't pick up on it. She has just now, so bloody hell. I'm really sorry about that. Okay, let's give it a quick try. Yeah, that is really, really refreshing. It's not sweet at all. Nice bitterness. The gin's absolutely coming through. Perfect. Okay, last but not least, we're going to do one with Patient Wolf Gin, made here in Melbourne. The reason that I'm using this one is they do use fresh oranges as a botanical when they distill. And this is kind of like a little bit of a twist, I guess, on a Cosmopolitan. So I'm going to add first up 45 mils of the amazing patient with gin. I know that the Cosmo doesn't have mint. However, you'll see where I'm heading in a second. Just some mint leaves. So this is really refreshing. Although it's great in winter time as well. We're still in the middle of winter here in Australia. Can we give it one more or two more mint leaves? Okay, add some ice to that. All right, and what makes it a little bit like a Cosmo 
it is the Cappy Cranberry Soda. Unlike cranberry juice itself, this is a lot lighter. It's not so full on in, in flavor of that cranberry. It's perfectly balanced and it's carbonated, which I love as well. So as you can see, the mint, the cranberry, I'm then going to add a little bit of lime to it as well. Okay, I'll give that a stir. So the orange in the Patient Wolf will kind of in a way replace the Cointreau that's in the Cosmopolitan. And for a little bit of a garnish, I'm gonna give it a nice mint sprig and a straw for this one. And that is cranberry soda, gin, fresh lime and mint. Guys, look how easy that is. Uh, if you have any questions or anything about other mixes, or if you can think of some yourself, send me a bit of a message. Please subscribe, like, and I'll see you again soon on Let's Talk Drinks.